This is Cheryl's group. Hey, good morning, Heather. Good morning. Ah, good morning. You if you could, if good. you could watch this just for a second yeah. um, and just uh, see if you see any um, strange messages or maybe even just read us what the message is. Some of these are live. Just the questions. Or comments. Is my mic on? Hmm? How do I know if my mic's on? I think it's on. Look at the the um, display. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll give a few minutes uh, for folks to sort of gather. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. There we go. Uh, we've got a crowded table here, Finch. Uh, good morning. My name is David Gross with Condi Systems. And I have with me my son Finch. Finch, how are you this morning? I'm doing well. Good to be here. So in this Columbus. is the third day of the NBM show in Columbus, Ohio. We have had a great time here, um, and we've been overwhelmed by the crowd. Uh, so just just a great time. My class was uh, Thursday at 10 o'clock, and uh, really had a had a full house. Um, it's always good to network at these shows. I recommend that you check out NBM schedule. Uh, just Google NBM shows and you'll see uh, where they're going next. I think uh, next is we'll be going to Denver and uh, that's uh, always a great show. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of um, just a few observations and, and talk about a couple of things uh, as we get started this morning. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, the first is uh, our next uh, event show will be the Sublimation Summit. Uh, that's in the Atlanta area, and I think that's um, in two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to sublimationsummit.com and check it out. Um, I will be teaching there uh, both days. So I'll teach two classes. I'll teach an introduction class for folks maybe that um, have bought their printer and maybe not taken it out of the box. Um, are people that are um, really considering getting into sublimation. Um, so, so check that out. Sprite also will be teaching there. She'll be teaching two, two classes per day. My second class will be sort of an intermediate um, best practices. I'm going to talk about uh, all the trends in cotton decorating, uh, color matching, um, and you know, feel free to ask questions and you know, let me know what you want to talk about. Um, I'm working on my class as I fly back today, and uh, it's always a lot of fun to um, do things like that. One of the things about the Sublimation Summit is that it is an incredible number of instructors that will be there, so you really have cutting edge, but in my case, um, I'm, I'm tuning my class for really what I would call cutting edge, uh, information, what is really happening in our industry. Um, also, these kinds of things are great networking opportunities. So, as part of um, our, our commitment to you to help you with your education, if you purchase a two day pass, uh, use the coupon code CONDI50, and that'll save you, I think, $50 off of it. Um, also, at Condi, we're running a, um, a bunch of sales. One of them will be on the um, continuing on the SG800. That is a breathtaking price on it. Um, and um, I think we're about to run out of inventory and have to wait on more. So it's been a, an amazing sale. Um, so if you want to know how much it is, just go to the cart and go to the, the website, add it to your cart, and you'll see it. We also um, had a bunch of folks asking, well, what about a sale on the SG400? What about me? Um, you know, how can I get another printer or how can I get into sublimation and, and do it at a, at, a, at a great, great cost? So I put the SG, SG400 on sale. Um, and just for fun, 
I bundled with the 400 um, some of my favorite, we'll call it fall, Halloween uh, kinds of items. Um, so I'm a big, big uh, October kind of person. That was when I was born and love Halloween. So I threw in a bunch of stuff. And so when you buy the 400, you're going to get, get some of those uh, items uh, included with your printer. Um, there also is a, um, a $30 coupon that's in effect, uh, I think probably to the end of the month. Um, and so it's probably posted on Facebook, other places. If you can't find it in your email or whatever, call us. You can use that coupon at checkout time uh, to save $30 on orders of $200 or more. So, so very exciting. Um, the uh, probably the biggest hit at the show, uh, uh, I think, was the Subla Shrink. You know, the Subla Shrink is our our film that will go around uh, drinkware, will go around dog bowls to allow you to decorate these products in the oven. And the new drinkware is just amazing. Um, you can see some of the large uh, tumblers. Um, the ladies really love this. And this is one of uh, Sprite's patterns. And yes, I am going to bring Sprite to a, a show in the near future. So I know all you really enjoy meeting Sprite. She, she is a hoot, that's for sure. One of the things that um, you folks helped with, and uh, along with Sprite, was the, the uh, full bleed mug there. Grab that pinch. So just amazing what you can accomplish using the, the film and a good template. So I um, want to thank everyone for helping out with that. Um, Finch, uh, Finch has been running the kiosk, and the kiosk is our way of folks walking up that maybe aren't familiar with sublimation, and they can, using their phone, send us a picture, we'll print it out and sublimate it on something, and so, Finch, how many how many shows do you think you've been doing this at? Well, I've, I've probably done over 30 shows. I, I think that sounds about right. That's, that's a fair guesstimate. And it's great because people can come up right to my kiosk and they can take an image off their cell phone and print it out and just put it on a product just like that. It's, it's really awesome. People really enjoy doing it. Um, it's... It's awesome. It's great. I, uh, this is, we brought some of these. These are the new Unisub textured panels. This is an MDF panel. MDF is thicker. We also have hardboard. Um, and these, these have a beautiful texture to it, very high value. Yeah. Um, What's been some of the, the observations from people, um, both, both a seasoned professional and people that maybe have never seen this before. I think the biggest thing that, that really stood out at the show was people were freaking out over the colors, the coloring, the markers. People absolutely went nuts for it. Um, let me grab this one. This oh. is one we made yesterday. Beautiful hand-drawn flower. And this one was, was on the textured photo panel as well. And oh, that was a big hit. People really liked that. Um, by the way, I have Heather behind the camera. She's um, the temp that's been helping us with the coloring booth here. Um, thank you, Heather. Heather, any messages so far? Does it look like the... We've got a lot of people that really love what you're doing. Good deal, good deal. So um, Heather really fired things up over here. Um, and, you know, it's, it's always interesting to see a person that isn't familiar with what we do it's all new to them and so she immediately started coloring her little heart out and made some beautiful things did you did you make this Heather? yes you made this look that, at that that is yeah, so gorgeous, that's awesome so gorgeous you know i'm amazed by the the talented people out there um, that are part of sublimation they'll come by and share their success stories um just amazing um well, you know we have we have so many people that that um, approach things from a different point of view, different markets, um, different passions, and it shows like this. It, it's my great honor, if you will, to be able to to see all this sort of mixed together, um, kind of thing. So um, 
the um, uh, what? David, I have a question here. Can you do tiles? So the question is, can you do tiles? And we've done ceramic tiles, tumbled stone tiles, um, glass, and and um, probably a few other substrates for years. So yes, you can do tile. Uh, I would say that the tiles are are um, limited to we we'll call it vertical applications, meaning they're not intended to be walked on, um, and um, they're really, you know, they're decorative tiles, if you will. There are many companies out there that will install ceramic tiles into a backsplash. There are few people that install them into bathrooms, but they need to be the vertical applications, meaning the wall. Um, if someone wants to do that, I think it's a it's a very exciting it's a it's a more complex process because obviously you're forming a mural and you're going to install it in a in a given space. Um, I would suggest you use the mat tiles. Uh, the mat tiles provide you the greatest uh, scratch resistance, uh, greatest abuse. A glossy tile um, is, is relatively easily scratched. And if you look at it at the right angle, you'll see the scratches. A matte tile is, is much, much tougher. Um, my favorite finish, with that said, is the satin tiles. Satin, to me, just have almost a golden look to them. They're, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. The, we coat our own tiles here in the United States under the brand Ironclad. Um, it's our coating, um, excellent coating. Uh, we a lot of times use dowel tiles which we can uh, buy here in the United States, um, so it's a great product. Yeah, we're one of the few people that we make about 20% of our own products. We make our acrylic here. It's a 100% USA made product. Uh, you press it flat and then give it a nudge and put it in our cooling jig and then gravity curves. It's also viewable from both sides, so it's fantastic products. We, um, we cut our glass, um, our sandstone, uh, products, our sandstone coasters, car coasters, um, unbelievably good product. Um, so what other, what other kinds of anything? Um, I have another question yeah. David, I do apologize. How about the glass tile? Were you, were you kind of on them on the back of the tile? Were you on the front of the tile? Were you on the back side? So the, um, the glass tiles, um, <laughs> that, um, you, would, you would decorate the back side of it. Most of the time, the glass tile has a, a white sublimation coating that you sublimate into, and then you can view it from the other side. Um, the brand of glass tiles that we sell are Bison. Bison is, um, is one of the coders here in the United States, great company. And um, they coat some ceramic tiles they coat the, the glass tiles. So yes, you would you would grout the tile in, if you will, um, you know, using a mortar. Um, so again, more of a uh, little bit more of a complex, um, you know, project, if you will, because you got to sublimate. You know, you've got to obviously have your image appropriately tiled. Um, Corel is a really good tool for tiling. One of the, I guess, simpler projects to do involving tiles and, and murals is to do a framed tile mural where essentially you've, you've um, maybe got an array, could be three by four, uh, four inch tiles. You're gonna, you're gonna um, tile an image, transfer to it. Then you're gonna um, glue it to a piece of wood and then you take it to a frame shop and they put a frame around it. So, you know, that kind of project is actually pretty simple. Uh, it, it turns into a very high value uh, piece of art. So, really cool. Um, trying to think of um, observations. One of the, the markers, or perhaps I think one of the untapped treasures in our industry, because with the markers, um, you could, for instance, uh, really move yourself into fundraising, whether it be schools, it could be churches, and you're able to um, uh, take a small press and after they color, press it right there and, and you're finished. So it's great. Heather, more questions? Okay. Um, at this moment, no. Okay. Um, I'm sure there's something coming in here Okay, soon. good deal. So, um, 
Um, I want to invite everybody, of course, to these shows. Um, I want to invite everybody to the Sublimation Summit. Um, you know, one of the things that I think is, is key in our world is education um, and networking. The more you learn from others, uh, the more you learn uh, by, by seeing the products. One of the observations of, of um, I guess, came from just quite a few people is our color. So it's a little bit confusing to explain, but, but here goes. So when you get a printer from us, um, or for instance, your, you know, client, Condi client buying your inks from us, you can get for for no money. You can you can tap into our color management technology, which is called Spectra Fusion. So with the great Sawgrass printers, SU 400, 800, the older Ricos, um, the way you get the best color from those is through our technology called Spectra Fusion. Spectra Fusion is, is um, an ICC profile that integrates into applications like Corel, Adobe products like InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, um, those kinds of things. And by doing that, you're going to get far superior color to driver-based um, you know, color management solutions like VPM. VPM from Sawgrass is a great piece of software for printing from applications that are not color aware. So if you're printing from an application like Word or Photoshop, uh, Word or PowerPoint or you know applications that just are not color aware, then then VPM is the best solution for you. If you're printing from Creative Studio, then you're going to want to use VPM because that's actually part of, of Creative Studio. But for folks that are printing from professional applications, applications that have um, CIE color engines, then you want to use a CIE standard, and that's what we comply to. We provide an ICC compliant profile that provides uh, essentially a glove fit when it comes to producing accurate um, vivid colors. Now garbage in is still garbage out, so to speak, but the proof is in our samples. If you come by our booth and you see our samples, they're incredible. Um, and so, you know, it, it doesn't cost anything and it provides superior color. Another thing that I like about our Spectra Fusion methodology is there's nothing to change, nothing to do other than to essentially print um, with, with um, VPM, which again is, is certainly good for the kind of applications it's used with. VPM has an incredible number of bells and whistles, um, things to change, things to remember. So, so again, uh, I like our approach. I had a client come by that has a 15-year-old GX7000 printer and um, we were able to set them up with Windows 10 using Spectra Fusion. Um, and so they're literally printing like they were when they first got their printer. And then they're on the bottom. Okay. Um, doesn't the grout show color? Say again? Grout show color. Grout. So the question color. is, um, when you're installing tiles, um, um, what about the grout? So we're using essentially normal ceramic tiles, they just happen to have a polyester coating on them, that's where the ink lives. So we're not doing anything different than you normally would when it comes to installing tiles. So um, generally speaking, when you're, when you're installing sublimation tiles, sublimation ceramic tiles, I do recommend a sandless grout um, and a, a neutral color, something either um, a light beige color, um, whitish kind of grout, but something like that. Um, but it's really up to you. Um, it's, it's whatever you like. And um, so, for instance, when it comes to a framed tile mural, I recommend that you not grout it. Um, and then, then you, just, you just position the tiles close together, glue them onto the backer board, and then frame it. Um, 
to an extent um, on a frame tile mural, um, I think it, the, the design looks richer without the grout. But if you're, you're installing it in a bathroom, installing it in a backsplash, something like that, um, you, you will need to uh, use mortar to, to um, stick the tile. You will need to use, use grout to, um, um, you know, fill in, fill in the gaps where the tile was. So we're not doing anything different than a normal tile installer would do, um, other than um, a sandless grout. Great. Um, I have another question for you. If I have Corel and PS, do I need the what do you need what? If I have Corel and PS, do I need this management? You do. So, um, if you're using a professional graphics software like an Adobe product, like a Corel product, then then you absolutely should be using Spectre Fusion because it provides far superior color. Um, it's a night and day situation because again, it, it's, it's the right thing to do. We're integrating directly into, in the case of Adobe, we're integrating into what they refer to as their ACE color engine. And by integrating into it, um, Corel, I mean, in this case, Adobe is, is, is doing the translation through our profile directly to the printer for color. And by doing it that way, um, you achieve uh, a level of color um, accuracy, a level of color fidelity that there is no other way to achieve that. Um, and so, again, we didn't invent the CIE engine. Um, all we're doing is, is being compliant with it by providing you, at no charge, um, an ICC color profile that, that integrates into the color engine <coughs> Excuse me. And then you just use the proper driver settings. Now there is more to this than I'm telling you from a input side of things. And so you can we can try our best to help you, but the bottom line is from an output point of view, we want to help you achieve the best because by having the best looking products, they're worth more. Okay. Is there a roll fee for the four hundred? So the question is, for the SG400, is there a roll fee? There is not. So what you do, um, I have some videos showing you, um, if you want to print longer um, in what we would refer to as banner mode, you'll need the bypass tray for the 400 and 800, and then you can buy a roll of paper for us to the width you want. Um, like for the 400, it would be eight and a half inches wide. For the 800, it might be 13 inches wide, it might be 11, it might be eight and a half. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna define a custom paper size in the driver for, for whatever length you wanna print. And then you're gonna cut a, a, a piece of the roll paper, cut it as, we'll call it a banner. And then you can print, you can position it in the bypass tray and, and print on the banner. Now, why would you want to do that? And I think there's only a few applications that make sense. So, for instance, um, neckties. Um, so, if you want to print on neckties and you don't have a big printer, then you can you can you can run the paper through, pro spray the transfer paper, position the necktie, and then do multiple pressings through your heat press. And I think you'll do a reasonable job of that. Other applications might be lanyard material. Um, lanyards are, of course, very popular. Um, I've, I've got my lanyard to get in the show here. It's in my pocket, um, and you can do it like that. But it would be for things that um, just just are not practical to do on a smaller piece of paper. Maybe socks. So I think I think um, Some of those you longer know, socks. So so when it comes to socks. Um, we have a paper that you can buy for the 400. It's a cut sheet. It's eight and a half by 21 inches. And you can put that in the tray and print on it. And I think 
21 inches takes care of most of the socks. Good question. The cost. The cost, cost of, of the Yeah, so the, the, as far as purchasing from Condi, the cost of the products are on the website. Um, you can go there. Um, some products you're going to have to add to their cart to see the price, like the printers today, because they're on special sales. Um, and, but they're, they're on there. These are wholesale prices. They're quantity driven. Um, if there's some unusual circumstance with your purchase, like um, a very large purchase or a, we'll call them a blanket purchase over, over a few months, you can speak to your Condi rep. Our Condi reps are extremely knowledgeable. Most of them have 10 plus years of industry experience. Some of them have 20. Some of them are approaching 25. So these folks can be your best resources, resource for helping you be successful. I'm a good technical resource. I know a little bit of, of marketing ideas. So between myself, our tech support team, um, the Condi sales reps, um, we're your team to help you be successful. Anything else? So always check out Sprite's artwork at Condi Design. Uh, Sprite's always, of course, cooking in the sublimation kitchen. Um, we, we certainly have a lot of fun. Um, and um, we're contemplating moving Condi Design to a subscription model so that if you're subscribed to it, as she puts up new designs, you don't have to pay for them. You just download them, use them, uh, because she's putting out a lot. I think this is one of hers. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but she always has great designs, um, kind of stuff. Another question I get often is about Creative Studio. Creative Studio is Sawgrass's design software that comes bundled with the printer. And the question is, who would benefit from Creative Studio? Uh, Creative Studio is, is best used for folks that are not familiar or don't know any graphic software. Um, also, people, of course, that don't own any software. So Creative Studio is a fantastic way to get started in sublimation without the traditional learning curve of learning Corel, learning Illustrator, Photoshop. So it really gets you started quick. You can stay with Creative Studio forever. Um, it's free. Or you can use that as your stepping stone to learning new applications like Corel. Now, if you're a Silhouette user, Silhouette is what I would recommend you continue using. Silhouette is a great software for sublimation. Um, but ultimately, uh, I think to, to create the best value in your designs, ultimately that's going to be going the graduation step to programs like Corel, Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design. My favorite is, is Corel. Corel is sort of the Swiss Army knife of a show like this. Um, but the point is that you can't wait to learn Corel um, you know, to, to start your sublimation business. You need to go ahead and get started, and Creative Studio is a great way. So we've been doing this for um, um, coming up on 28 years now, and when we first started out, Epson was the the really the only choice when it came to printers, and really to use an Epson effectively, you had to bolt onto the printer a bulk ink system, and and that very nature of, of bolting it on made it inherently unreliable. It made it more difficult to to keep the printer going. And when the Ricos came out, um, they had very large cartridge systems, um, and, and they just turned out to be ideal printers for the sublimation world. Um, so, so I would say that from a quality, from a reliability point, with the two printers that are really the industry standards today, the SG400, 800, and even the, the older Ricos, um, those are the, the go-to workhorses. Now, as you move into the very large printers, 
the 44 inch printers and up, um, that's the domain of companies like MUTO and Epson um, and others like Mamaki Roland. We sell the MUTO and we sell the, the Epson uh, sublimation printers, the big ones, and those are the go-to. I think ultimately Epson will come into our desktop world um, and when they do that, I think that will just continue to, um, I guess, acknowledge and bless our, our, our sublimation world. I mean, the point is that, that sublimation to me is, is still a little bit of a well-kept secret, you know, in the desktop world. Um, and, but with the richness of the products they produce, the value, um, I think you'll, you'll uh, benefit there. So again, our world is going very well. That's, uh, that's my good friend Brandy here at the show. She's sort of the show boss, and she's, she's an awesome young lady, um, and she does a great job of, of making this show into the, the kind of quality program it is from an exhibitor, from an education point of view. Um, and um, we wish you were here, of course. Um, and so if you do come by the show today, please let me know you are watching our video. Um, with that, I think, go ahead. Okay. Um, with these new inks, or these inks, do you have to use a post spray treatment? So the question is um, with sublimation, um, is there any steps after you sublimate? And there are not. So you just, all you need to do is, is put it in the press, close the press, sublimate it, and when you take it out, you're finished. There's no uh, post steps, there's no coatings, there's nothing that you need to do after you sublimate. And for, for new folks, that may seem strange, but the physics of sublimation is what we refer to as, as subsurface decorating, meaning the ink is not on the surface anymore, it's actually inside the product, it's in the coating, and what that means is it's pretty much immune from scratches, it's immune from chemicals, it's immune from graffiti, um, and so sublimation is just sort of a, a very unusual technology with all the characteristics that, that define sublimation. Now if you're doing transfer paper, if you're doing a DTG, um, if you're doing UV printing, all these are surface decorating, meaning you do have to do something usually to protect the image. Uh, also, I have a question again. Do you have to pre spray? Okay, so the question is about um, preparing a product for sublimation. And so the products that we sell at Condi and pretty much everybody else, they are sublimation ready. So there's nothing for you to do other than press it. Um, there's nothing you need to do to coat it. They're already coated, um, so so they're they're good to go. There are people out there that sell sublimation coatings. I am not a fan of those. I would say you should not use them. They have all sorts of challenges and issues, um, both from a, a, a compliance point of view with our safety laws in our country, uh, Prop 65. Uh, CPSIA laws, uh, FDA laws, and so you should be very cautious if you you intend to coat your own products. I would I would advise against that. Um, I would say say don't do that. But from a um, doing something with ours, no, you just put it in the product. Now we do need you to anchor the transfer to the substrate, and there's two strategies to keep the transfer attached to the substrate. One is heat tape, the other is pro spray. Pro spray is a temporary adhesive spray that just holds the transfer to the product. So when you open the press after you've sublimated it, air rushes in and if the transfer isn't anchored to your substrate, it's going to flap around, it's going to move. And because there's still sublimation in action, because it's still very hot, you'll get a ghost image, you'll get a shadow print. And so you'll want to anchor the transfer uh, to it. So, you know, I've got a lot of videos at Condi TV. Um, our instructions are posted under each product. Um, and I recommend that you check out, for instance, when I taught my class, I tell everybody 
about one of the resources, and I'll tell you a secret here, is if you go to condi.com forward slash NBM, Nancy, Boy, Mary, you'll see my class resources that I promote at my, my uh, classes here, condi.com forward slash NBM. And so the, the more educated you are, uh, the better off. My best tip that I can leave everyone with is document. Document your successes, your failures, document your questions, your problems. So for instance, if something happens at the computer or printer, you get an error message or something, the best thing you can do is take out your smartphone, take a picture of the error, um, take a picture of whatever's happening on your screen that you're confused with. Often you can document your proper settings by taking a picture with your phone. So that's your best way to help you remember what's going on. People will call and say, well, I had an error. I don't remember what it is. What should I do? Well, it's very difficult for tech support to help you if we don't know what the error is. So, well, this has been David Gross with Finch. We're going to get to work here. We thank you for being with us this Saturday morning. We'll resume our normal schedule uh, for Friday. And please check out the Sublimation Summit. Till we meet again, thank you. Yeah, one more question before we can you print our clock? No. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay, nope. we're good.